Here, Coma, I have a pair of safety glasses for you to put on okay, because thanks. you and I are going to do a somewhat dangerous experiment. So it's a good idea to be prepared. All right. Okay. First of all, do you know what that chemical is? You know what the C stands for? Carbon. Carbon. And the H? Hydrogen. And the O? Oxygen. Yeah, and when you put them all together, like this and this form, you got sugar. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever burned sugar? Yeah. You know, it has a sort of a typical caramel kind of smell. Well, when you burn sugar, you actually free the hydrogen and the oxygen, so you get water, and what's left behind is the carbon. Yep. And you've noticed when you burn something on the stove, how black it gets? Yeah. Well, let's burn some sugar. I'll put in about a teaspoon or so. Get rid of the lump, okay? Now, here's a nice long stick, and at the end of it is a match. So you take the match, and I'll light the, the match on the end, and you put it down there in the sugar, okay? Okay. Okay, put it down in there. Doesn't catch on fire, does it? No. Why not? Because... What do you need to have a fire? You need oxygen. Oxygen, is, and usually it comes from air, right? And yeah. that's what happens when you burn sugar on the stove. Well, you don't need air. You really need a supply of oxygen, and you, as you said. And here's where we're going to get it. Do you know what the K stands for? No. Potassium. The N? Nitrogen. And O? Oxygen. Yes. And it's that bunch of oxygen right there that we're going to release and combine with the carbon in the sugar. So then it'll catch on fire. It sure will. Take the teaspoon, put in about a teaspoon or so, of that chemical, put it in there with the sugar, and mix it all up. And I'll get rid of these. And notice I have it on a piece of wood here that I use for burning things. Okay, now one of the problems is we have to get it started. So I'm gonna put some match heads in the middle. So what you do with the, with the match at the end of the stick is you bring it near those match heads and catch them on fire. Okay. So they'll catch the rest of it on fire. And you will soon see that you don't need air for a fire. All you need is a good supply of oxygen. Okay, bring it down there close. And step back over here with your hand. Get ready to stand back. There we go. That's neat. Yeah. It's all bubbling. Yeah, it looks like a volcano. Yeah, a miniature. And all we're really doing is burning sugar with a good supply of oxygen. It's fizzing now. So what do you need to have a good fire? Do you need air? No, you need lots of oxygen. Right. 